Hey everybody, welcome back. Tonight I'm making dinner. It's a simple, delicious uh, dinner and I'm so excited. My words are not coming out right, but I'm gonna get into the kitchen, start cooking everything up, chopping, cooking, baking. We're doing all the things. So we are gonna make some easy Philly cheesesteak sandwiches today and we're gonna bake them up in the oven and it's gonna be delicious. So let's go get cooking. All right, I'm gonna show you what I'm making for dinner. <clears throat> so we got the quick steak from Costco. This stuff is super good. So I'm gonna make some Philly cheesesteaks. We got delicious soft sub rolls. And then I chopped up a red pepper, a green pepper, and I think it's like a little bit more than half an onion. And then I seasoned that with garlic powder, Worcestershire sauce, and some Montreal steak. Once I get all of this softened up and ready, I'm gonna take it out of the pan and uh, fry up the shaved beef. And then I'll show you what I'm gonna do because I don't want a Philly cheesesteak on a cold bun. So, so we got some provolone cheese too. I'll get that out when it's closer. But yeah, these are all frying up and that's small well, step two. Step one was getting them all chopped and ready and step two was frying. All right, I've cooked everything up and I started assembling. What I did is just kinda I had to do the meat in two batches because I didn't want to dirty another pan. So that's over there. Cool it down a little. And then the peppers and onions and all that. So what I did is I got them in a tinfoil pan. And each one I put butter on both sides. And then each piece has a piece of, uh, what's that, provolone cheese cut in half just so it covers the whole bun. And one thin line of Dusseldorf mustard. We love that here. Um, and then what I'm going to do is put the meat and then the peppers and onions on it. I think I might leave one without the peppers and onions because Madison does not like that. So the rest are gonna have peppers, onions, but I just figured I'd show you kind of the process. And then we're gonna toss these in the oven and then the buns will be nice and crispy and warm and just delicious. We'll show you the finished product. All right, here they are. This one down here is the no peppers and onions. The rest of them have them. This one, I forgot peppers and onions, so I put it on top of the cheese. I ended up adding just a tiny sprinkle of Kobe Jack shredded cheese just because one piece of cheese did not seem enough. So you can kind of see it. Not a lot, but anyway. The outsides are a little crispy. The insides are soft and delightful. I'm just gonna go ahead and serve these up, and that is dinner tonight. People can pick other sides that they want. Or Grammy, she brought over some fresh made blueberry muffins today. So there they are in all their glory. Philly cheesesteaks, quick and delicious.